Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to get table names with record count in SQL Server database. So if this is asked as an interview question, they want to know your knowledge about system tables and system views. If your answer is I can use the select count star from table name and I can use the cursor to loop through the uh, all the tables and get the count for all of them. Uh, this is not going to be helpful uh, and this is going to be lengthy and uh, not uh, uh, optimized solution to get uh, the record count with table names. So they would know right away, okay, you are not uh, um, uh, knowledgeable on the system objects in SQL Server. So provide a good solution to this problem. Let's go to SSMS and take a look. We have a, a database called sales and I have few of the tables here. I can use a system table that does provide us a number of rows for each of the table. So that's called sys indexes. So it has a last column is rows that the number of rows for each of the table here. Uh, we can as we are in, th this can be uh, providing more information uh, but we are interested to get the record count only for user tables so what i'm going to do i'm going to inner join inner join with the sys dot tables and call it t on i dot id is equal to t dot object id so this will give me the record count with the tables uh, especially the user tables I'm interested in. Here I'm going to use t.name as table name and then I will be using a schema name as uh, there are possibility we will have t. same name table in two schemas so I don't want to uh, get confused why uh, the table name is same and different uh, record count it could be different schema right so this is how we can get the schema name and then uh, we are interested to see i dot rows that will give us the rows as a record count now we are all good so we got the table name we got the schema we got the record counter so this query can be used before you run your etl process and then you take the counts and put into some table then you run your etl process and then run the this query by sql by using maybe in the package itself or you will uh, have a sql server agent job scheduled to run this query and insert the data into some other table after that so this can be run uh, multiple times during the time uh, during the day and uh, by having it uh, you can uh, take a look on the record counts for each of the table and uh, maybe plan storage or uh, the growth or partitioning and all that so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, uh, i'm going to put the uh, scripts in the description as well as i will have the blog uh, post link in the description where the script is already present i will see you next